Hi everyone, it's Don from Crux Terminatus with a White Scars Storm Talon gunship. It's the first time I've used Liquid Mask, so I thought I'd show you what happened. I wanted to do the cockpit and everything details first, um, and really, um, it was once the cockpit goes on, you can barely see anything in there. So to be honest, if I was doing that again, I wouldn't bother. As I say, I wanted to try painting white. I'd never really painted a white vehicle before, so I made him a white scars tech marine so i did a little heart rate monitors and fuel gauges and all the rest of it utterly pointless you can't see anything through the cockpit anyway when it's all <laughs> put together um but uh, in the words of a, a famous um person on youtube i assembled to the point where um further assembly would cause problems when painting that's what i did so um i i hate the the actual you know, model. I think it's quite a stupid looking thing, and I much prefer the um, Thunder Crow from uh, Puppets War. But as I say, I, I'm getting to the bottom of my um, to do p uh, pile, and um, this was it. So I decided I would uh, undercoat it all grey, and that's me painting the engines. And you'll notice that I haven't built um, any of the, the sort of things, they're just held together by blue tack, so I can paint them. And that was my first attempt at chipping. I actually quite liked it. Um, it's it's all sort of that rusty colour and taking on some advice from you know absolute legends, um, including sort of Dread Lun and Bedge and Mithro and uh, the Graham uh, Tester. Um, I decided that I would actually go to surprise, surprise, somber grey. Uh, and then give it a base coat with that, and then paint rust on bits what I, that I thought would be um, sort of rusty uh, going forward. So there's light rust and dark rust to signify sort of, sort of battle damage over the over the time. So I was trying to pick out hatches and you know bits the engine cowls and all these kind of things as well. And obviously I just stuffed the cockpit full of um, kitchen roll there to, to keep the paint out. Um, again, I was trying not to go too too far because that's what I, I did with the test piece and that's me applying the liquid mask. So it's just a ripped up piece of uh, green sponge there and um, I was using Vallejo uh, liquid uh, mask but I, I know everyone uses Humbrol and things like that as well. So I was just dabbing it on wherever I thought it would be uh, useful. It's quite hard stuff to work with but once you get the hang of it, it's okay. And then obviously I had to, to spray over, that's wolf grey, not actual white. Um, I wanted the white to have a, a bit of a sort of blue tinge. So I, I covered it all and then that's me just dry brushing the engines with uh, bolt gun uh, metal. And then I'm going to start assembling them uh, into their nacelles so you can actually see the engine through the, the, the holes there. Bearing in mind, um, this is the tricky part here, it's using a, a blob of blue tack to gently scrape along and it, it picks up all the liquid mask and you'll see already you know you're getting really really decent chips but they look so three-dimensional because they are you're actually lifting the paint off so usually I would sponge chip uh, but this is a, a much more realistic looking method is it worth all the extra effort and time mm, honestly debatable Certainly if I was doing line models, I would just uh, sponge chip them. But you know, if you want to try something new, um, every day is a school day and all that. So I uh, I did it that way. So you can see I've just speeded that up. And um, that's pretty much what it looks like when it's finished. So I, I got to the point where it was very white, um, but it had lots of battle scars. So what I did was I covered it with some uh, just some pigments just to give it a sort of dusty uh, look like it's been um, out and about. So all in all, um, I enjoyed it. It was painting white for the first time on a vehicle and um, it doesn't want to spin around. So excuse my fat fingers knocking about. But um, I'd say I learned a lot doing it. It was good fun. Um, the model kind of grew on me a little bit even though I think that it would never take off the ground and the fact that it lands on its guns is just insane. But you'll see some of the difference there. So there's, there's rusty bits and sort of blue bits in there. Um, so it, it really helps the, the model uh, look a bit more realistic if there's different colours in there. And that was, um, as I say, uh, Dread Lun who, um, who sort of pointed me in that direction. So indebted to him. And it was just a case of, right, okay, let's do it. 
um, perhaps I did too much. Uh, I fully accept that. And I didn't know whether to um, to put letters or numbers, but letters are so important to me. I can't stress it enough how much I love letters. But in this case, I decided just to leave it with the white scars um, um, transfers. And I also scraped them and made them look a bit dodgy as well. So hopefully you've learned something. Give it a bash. You never know. Uh, and if you could like, comment and subscribe, it would be great. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.